2018, I'm pleased to report that all the subunits of the Alternative Investments platform performed well. We have our private equity business, among others, and each one of them was beset by a different set of circumstances, all of whom performed better than expected. And the reason I can say that is because we benchmark all of our businesses in terms of healthcare looking at Cleveland Clinic Abu Dhabi. So there, we were defined by getting even more international patients coming into the hospital, by seeing an even larger segment of the local population. We also inaugurated our transplant program, performing more than 35 transplants in a short span of time. So incredibly proud of the team. When it comes to our healthcare portfolio, at the end of the day, that portfolio doesn't change in the sense that it's a portfolio that puts patients first and is measured not only by the financial return that we make, but also by our level and our engagement of patient services and the outcomes that we're able to deliver with them. Our local real estate portfolio, I would say, was defined by managing for cash and yield, which I think the teams have done well. Looking at the international real estate portfolio, so for the first time we expanded in Asia, one of the latest transactions that we did has been an expansion into Japan. I like the evolution of the portfolio in terms of how we're distributing between commercial, residential, retail, and in this case, industrial. I think we've built a resilient, internationalized portfolio that hits each one of those different segments and is providing us with good yields. And then, of course, we had the Abar turnaround, resulted in the birth of a new unit within my platform called Financial Institutions. There, we are managing positions like Unicredit, RHB, and about 10 other positions in the financial institution space, some of which are banks and other non-bank assets that we have. And the idea there was to make sure that we focused on integrating people into our teams, and we're also baselining all the assets and forming a perspective across each one of them. So here, we're really having strategic discussions and really understanding how those assets are going to grow over time. So in summary, 2018 for the alternative investment platform has been one characterized by good performance. We have highlights across each one of the different units. I think the main overarching theme that links everything together is managing for value, cash generation, and profitability in a manner that's consistent with the returns that we ought to be delivering.